Hello students, let's do simple linear equations, revision 2. Question 1. A number increased by 18 is 45. Find the number. So let's begin. Let the required number be x. The number increased by 18 is 45. This is given to us in the question. So let the required number be x. And if we increase that number by 18, we get 45. So let's write that also. So x plus 18 is 45. Now we can find the value of x by writing 45 on the right hand side as it is and by transposing this plus 18 from the left hand side to the right hand side. So that becomes minus 18. So to find the value of x, let's subtract 45 and 18. So 45 minus 18. So this is 3. 15 minus 8 is 7, 3 minus 1 is 2. So we have found the value of x to be 27 and we've been asked to find the other number. So the other number is 27. Question 2. A number is decreased by 10 and the new number so obtained is multiplied by 5. The result is 200 find the number. So let's go slow. A number is decreased by 10. Let's take a first step. So let the number be x. So the number is decreased by 10 means x minus 10. The number is x. We decreased it by 10. So x minus 10. Now the new number that you get is x minus 10, isn't it? If it is multiplied by 5. So when you multiply it by 5, this is what you get. 5 into x minus 10. The new number is multiplied by 5 and the result is 200. So 5 into x minus 10 is 200. Now we have to solve for x to find the number. So let's do that. So when you do that, you have to first multiply 5 into x. So here 5 into x is 5x and then we multiply 5 into minus 10. That is minus 5 tens are 50 is equal to 200. Now to find the value of 5x first we say 200 and then we take this minus 50 from the left hand side and we transpose it to the right hand side. So that becomes plus 50. So now we know that 5x is equal to 200 plus 50 is 250. 5x is equal to 250 we can find the value of x. How do we do that? We write 250 and then we take this 5 which is multiplication here. We transpose it to the right side. It becomes division. It's multiplication here. When it goes there, it becomes division. 250 divided by 5. So let's do that division. 250 divided by 5. 5 fives are 25 minus 0. And so if we put the 0 on top. So we've got the answer as 50. So x is equal to 50. That means the other number. We've been asked to find the number, isn't it? And that number is 50. Now you can always check your answer. So now that we've got 50, you can take back, take it back to the question. So here it says the numbers decrease by 10. We found the number to be 50, isn't it? Now decrease it by 10, it becomes 40. And then they say the new number so obtained, that is, we got 40. If you multiply it by 5, 40 into 5 is 200. And here it says the result is 200. So you can always check your answer by going back to the question. Question 3. The sum of two consecutive even numbers is 50. Find the numbers. What's the meaning of consecutive? Numbers that come one after the other. And here we are talking about even numbers. So let's be careful. Even numbers are numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8, Okay, all these are even numbers and the difference between them is 2. So let's begin. Let the first number be x. Remember here it says the sum of two consecutive even numbers. So we have two numbers. So let the first number be x. So the second number will be x plus 2 because they are even numbers. So the difference is 2x plus 2. Then here it says the sum of the two numbers is 50. The sum of these two numbers is 50. So what does that mean? 
It means that the first number is x, the second number is x plus 2. When you add up all this, you get 50. So now we're going to solve for x. So here we have x and x, that is 2x. So what do we have here? We have 2x plus 2 equals 50. So now to find the value of 2x, we leave 2x here and then we write 50 and then we carry plus 2 to the right hand side. So it's going to become minus 2. 50 minus 2. So 2x is equal to 50 minus 2 is 48. Now let's find the value of x. x is equal to 48 divided by 2 because 2 which is multiplication here when we took it to the right side it became division. So now let's divide 48 by 2. 2 twos are 4 minus 8. 2 fours are 8. So we've got our answer as 24. So x is equal to 24. So we have found the first number. Because we said let the first number be x, isn't it? And we found x to be 24. Then we said let the second number be x plus 2. That is x is 24, 24 plus 2 which is 26. So we have found the two consecutive even numbers and they are 24 and 26. So these are two numbers that two even numbers that come one after the other. So we have got our answer. The first one is 24 and the second one is 26. Question 4. The sum of three consecutive odd numbers is 27. Find the numbers. Okay, so this time you're talking about three numbers. Again, they're consecutive because they come one after the other and they're odd numbers this time. And remember, the difference between two odd numbers is also two. So let's begin. First step, let the first number be x. Remember, there are three numbers. So first number is x. Let the second number be x plus 2 because the difference between two odd numbers is 2. And the third number be x plus 4. And the sum of the numbers of all three numbers here is 27. That means you take the first number, that is x, then you add x plus 2, then you add x plus 4. All that will be equal to 27. So let's do that. x, so we have the first number here, x. So second number is x plus 2. Third number is x plus 4. So when you add up all these numbers, you get 27. So now let's work out. Let's look at all the x terms. I have 1, 2, 3. So that is 3x. Okay, so 3x plus 4 and 2. So here we have two whole numbers, 4 plus 2 or 2 plus 4 is 6, is equal to 27. So now to find the value of 3x first, we say 27 minus 6. Now we have transpose plus 6 to the right hand side. That's how we got minus 6. Now 27 minus 6. 7 minus 6 is 1 and 2 here we have. So 3x is equal to 21. Now we can find the value of x. x is equal to 21 divided by 3 because here it is multiplication. 3 is multiplication. So when you transpose it, it becomes division. Now 3 7s are 21. So the answer is 7. So we have found the value of x. x is equal to 7. Now let's find the three numbers. So we said let the first number be x. That means the first number is 7. Then we said let the second number be x plus 2. That is x is 7. 7 plus 2. So the second number is 9. Then we said let the third number be x plus 4. So x is 7. 7 plus 4 is 11. So we have found all three numbers. The three consecutive odd numbers are 7, 9 and 11. So 7, 9 and 11 are the three consecutive odd numbers. So we've got our answer. Question 5. The sum of three consecutive multiples of 5 is 90. 
find the multiples. So again, three multiples that come one after the other of five and the sum should be equal to 90. So let's find these multiples. So let the first multiple of five be x. So the second multiple of five will be x plus five because these are multiples of five. Then the third multiple of five will be x plus 10. And here, what does it say? It says the sum of these three multiples is 90. That means if I add up x plus x plus 5 plus x plus 10, it will give me 90. So let's do that as our next step. So our next step is the sum of the multiples is equal to 90 and the multiples are x. This is the x is the first multiple. x plus 5 is the second one. x plus 10 is the third one. So if I add up all three, I get 90. So let's do that. Now we can find the value of x. Let's count all the x terms. 1, 2, 3. So we have 3x there. So 3x plus, let's look at the whole numbers. I have 5 plus 10. So that is 5 plus 10 is 15. That is equal to 90. Now we can find the value of 3x. 3x is equal to 90 minus 15. Because I have transposed this plus 15 to the right side. It's become minus 15. Now let's subtract 90 and 15. So this is 8. 10 minus 5 is 5. 8 minus 1 is 7. So 3x is equal to, let's write that down, 3x is equal to 75. So now we can find the value of x. x will be 75 divided by 3 because 3 is multiplication here. So when it moves to the right hand side, it becomes division. So now let's divide 75 by 3 to find the value of x. 3 2s are 6 minus 1. Bring down 5, 15. 3 5s are 15. So we have found the value of x. So x is equal to 25. Now we can find all the multiples of he said, let the first multiple of 5 be x. So x is 25. So this is the first multiple. Then we said the second multiple of 5 is x plus 5. So x we have as 25. 25 plus 5 is equal to 30. This is the second multiple. Then we said the third multiple. We said let it be x plus 10. So x is 25. 25 plus 10. 25 plus 10 is 35. So now we have found the three consecutive multiples of 5 that is 25, 30 and 35. These are the three consecutive multiples of 5 and these should add up to 90 because that is the question. So that is the way for you to check your answer. So add up these three and see whether they add up to 90. Question 6. Rachel is 5 years older than Raj. Four years later, Rachel will be twice as old as Raj. Find their present ages. So let's begin slowly. So let's take Rachel's present age to be x. That means Raj's present age will be x minus 5 because Rachel is 5 years older than him. He is younger than Rachel by 5 years. So it's x minus 5. Now four years later, Rachel will be x plus 4 because her present age is x. Now, after 4 years, it will be x plus 4. And Raj's age, now at present, his age is x minus 5. After 4 years, it will become plus 4. Okay, now we can simplify this. x minus 5 plus 4. So, we can work on minus 5 plus 4. x will remain the same. Minus 5 plus 4, signs are different. Put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. So, after 4 years, Raja's age is going to be x minus 1. Then we are also told that Rachel will be twice as old as Raj after 4 years. So, what is Rachel's age after 4 years? x plus 4, which is already given to us here. It's given to us here. And she's going to be twice as old as Raj. That means 2 times the age of Raj after 4 years, which is x minus 1. So, now we can solve for x. Okay, so x plus 4 equals, let's multiply this. We have to multiply 2 into x first. So 2 into x is 
2x and then we multiply 2 into minus 1. So that becomes minus 2. Let's get all the x terms to one side. So here we already have x. Let's bring the other x here. That's minus 2x. When you transpose it, it becomes minus 2. On the right hand side, we have minus 2. We're going to transpose plus 4 from the left side to the right. It becomes minus 4. So here, let's simplify this. This is 1x. Okay. So 1 minus 2, that is signs are different. Put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. So that's minus 1x is equal to, here signs are the same. Put the same sign and add minus 6. So now to find the value of x, we say minus 6 divided by minus 1. So that is minus into minus is plus 6 divided by 1 is 6. So we have found the value of x to be plus 6. Now we're going to find the ages of Rachel and So the present age of Rachel we said is x. So x we found out to be 6. So Rachel is 6 years old. That means the present age of Raj is x minus 5. Okay. So x is 6. 6 minus 5 which is 1. So we have found the ages. The present age of Rachel is 6 years. She is 6 years old. And Raj is, the present age of Raj is 1. 1 year old. So he is 1 year old. Question 7. Sony's father is 4 times as old as Sony. After 5 years, her father will be 3 times as old as her. Find their present ages. Okay. So let's consider Sony's age to be x. And her father is 4 times her age. So that will be 4x. Now after 5 years, Sony's age will be x plus 5. Right now it is x. After 5 years it is x plus 5. And her father's age now is 4x. So after 5 years it will be 4x plus 5. After 5 years. Now what does the question say? After 5 years her father will be 3 times as old as her. Okay, so let's work that out. So her father will be 3 times as old as her means her father's age is 4x plus 5 after 5 years. Now it's going to be 3 times more than the age of Sony. So that is x plus 5. So now we have to simplify this and find the value of x. So here we have 4x plus 5 is equal to now 3 into x first. So that will be 3x plus now we multiply 3 into plus 5. So that is 3 fives are 15. So we'll bring all the x terms to one side. We have 4x We'll bring 3x from the right hand side to the left hand side. It will become minus 3x. On the right hand side we have 15. We'll transpose plus 5 to the other side. It becomes minus 5. So now we have 4x minus 3x. 4 minus 3 is 1. 1x is equal to 15 minus 5 is 10. So we have found the value of x. We've got x is equal to 10. Now we are going to find Sony's and her father's present age. So, Sony's present age is x, which we found out to be 10. That means she is 10 years old. And her father, we said, is 4x. That means 4 times x. 4 into x, which is 4 into, and x we found out to be 10. So, the 4 tens are 40. So, Sony's present age is 10 years. And her father's present age is 40 years. So we have found the present ages of Sony and her father. 10 years and 40 years. So with this children, we have come to the end of this revision. Thank you children.